These are signs that someone is meant for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Helene Honey. If it's your first time here, then welcome. So I wanna share with you guys how you're gonna really know if somebody is meant to be in your life. And if somebody is really meant for you, the energy that you have around you, the people you keep around you, they're gonna influence you in so many ways. And sometimes we can get confused and not be listening to our gut feeling like, should I really be having this person around? Should I be in their energy? <laughs> should I be in their presence, right? And so I hope that these signs help you. Like this is what has helped me you know like who deserves a spot in my life like who do i want to cherish and be loyal to who do i want to have around me right and so if someone meets these signs this is your sign from the universe that they deserve a place in your life they are going to enrich your life it was about time to do a video on love let me know which sign resonates with you the most so the first sign that someone is meant to be in your life is that they serve you. Okay, so we're talking about the heart space. They wanna assist you. They want to help you in big ways or in small ways, but they have this heart about them and it's about the intentions because let's say you're telling somebody about your struggle and they're just like listening to you, but they don't really care. <laughs> And you're saying like, you're pretty much asking for help in one way or another, but they could care less. They're like, oh, that's crazy. What, is that really somebody you wanna have around you? Like, do they really have your best interest at heart, basically? And so a sign that someone, that you wanna keep somebody in your life is like, they're always there for you in the best way that they know how to be. And so I'm talking about actions, like, it's not just about what people say, it's about what they do. And without you having to ask, they're just there for you. They love you. This is a sign that they love you. Especially masculine energy, a lot of times serves through actions. I remember my stepdad one time, he was like, give me your car keys. When I got back in my car, I recognized that he had filled up the gas tank. He had like changed the oil. You know, I didn't ask him to do these things, but he just loves me as his daughter. And so this is how he shows his love is like through actions. And so it's not about you having, if you have to beg someone to do something, or if you have to like convince them, a beautiful sign that someone's meant to be in your life. Like they serve you through their actions and the same thing for you right like when you love somebody you want to take care of them you want to be there for them you want to hear them out you do what you can for them because you care for them sign number two that somebody is meant to be in your life <laughs> they care about your well-being and your health <laughs> they want what's for your highest good. A lot of times people could be apathetic. They might just not care. And maybe it's because they're not caring about their own selves. So how can they truly care for you? But somebody that's meant to be in your life, you're elevating with them, especially when it comes to your health and for your highest good. So that means they're telling you the truth. Sometimes we could want things that are bad for us, but you want to have people around you that are going to tell you the truth. They're doing it from a place of love. So they want what's for your highest good. They want what's for your health, for your mental health, for your well-being, for your peace of mind, right? So you don't want just like a people pleaser around you who's gonna just like give in to every whim. Like, let's say you wanna do something that's gonna harm you. <laughs> They're not gonna be like, well, go for it, right? I feel like sometimes we can want people to just be like, oh, well, just accept us. Okay, yes, accept us and love us, flaws and awe, unconditional love, I get it. But I feel like it really is gonna benefit you. Someone you want to have around you is gonna tell you the truth. And even if it's not what you wanna hear, even if it makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable, they are coming from a place of love because they're being honest and it's for your highest good. So always look at the intentions of someone else. And so they're gonna be like, have you been exercising? Care about what you, kind of, what you guys are eating, like what you're putting in your mouth. They care about your health. They care about your well-being. They care about your 
highest good, keep them around. So the next sign that someone is meant to be in your life, they love the real you inside. This is huge, you guys, because you want to be able to discover who you really are, like on a soul level, right? Like, who are you when no one else is around? Who are you really? The good, the bad, the ugly. When you find someone who sees you for who you really are and they love that, that's how you know it's a connection that's meant to be in your life. It's natural. You guys are like magnets coming together. It's organic. Like it's pure, it's effortless, it's easy, it flows. You're like two peas in a pod. You don't have to try hard because you're just being yourself. So find someone who loves the real you. If you feel like you have to be someone else, it's not really someone who's meant to be in your life because you are amazing in your natural state, who you really are, what makes you laugh. Like, you're laughing together. You find the same things funny. You can have a good time. Life is more fun with them around no matter what you're doing. Like This is a huge sign that someone's actually meant to be in your life. If you can't be your real self, if you feel like you have to be in a facade or, you know, like when you're in social conditions or if you're going to work and you don't really want to be there, like it depends, Like, but who are you when you're just being silly? What about your inner child? Like, <laughs> what about your dark humor? What about your, like, your jokes or the deep stuff? Oh, your insecurities or the things you want to work on, heal, the things that make you cry. Like, everything, every component of you, when you can be vulnerable and open with someone, they see all of you and they love that. Like, that's how you know, like, wow, this is someone who's meant to be in my life this is somebody that i'm gonna cherish right they're giving you that space that love there's no force just ease beautiful pure connection the next sign that someone is meant to be in your life is that they're gonna bring out the best in you <laughs> it's crazy because the really relationships in our life depending on how intense they are can bring out the best in you can also bring out the worst in you but that's a sign like this person's meant to be your life when they're bringing out the best in you. <laughs> Not like, oh, y'all y'all two almost went to jail. You're tripping, always arguing. Not that kind of fire. We're talking about they ignite you in the best way. They light you up. Your vibration increases. You're excited around them. You naturally, your best self naturally comes out around them because you're feeling that love vibration, that happiness, that joy, you're at peace with them. You can be yourself with them. So this means like you want to be your best with them. Cause when you, how do you feel around them? Like when you feel happy and around someone, when your mood is like, you feel good around them, you feel safe around them, your best self is naturally gonna come out. And so your feelings are not gonna lie to you. They're trying to guide you, right? What's going on? Do you resonate? The unseen world, the energy, because energy doesn't lie. And so be around people like they're meant to be in your life when all of a sudden, like if you're a guy, you're being even more of a gentleman. If you're a woman, you sink into your feminine energy. The highest vibrations are light. It's shining brighter because love is a pure vibration. So then you're going to act in, in accordance with it. Right? And so everything that love is, you're going to be more kind. You're going to be considerate. You're going to just be feeling good. And so th these are people that are meant to be in your life, that the universe sent to you because they're bringing out your best. You're bringing out their best. You're holding space for one another. The worst feeling is like being around somebody and feeling like you're on eggshells, like feeling like you have to watch what you say and, you know, you just don't really get along that well like you don't resonate with each other you're like misinterpreting what each other says you're like don't feel like you feel like you can't trust them that's the worst feeling you guys and you know to keep it real life is constantly moving changing and we're constantly growing and evolving and that's why it's such a gift when someone's in your life and you feel deep inside 
that they're meant to be there. It's not just, oh, you've known them for a long time or, oh, you grew up with them or, oh, you feel like you should be getting along with them, but something feels off. No, these are real signs that they're meant to be. They're bringing out your best. You feel safe. You feel seen, heard. They're making space for you. They love the real you, you know, they're, and they're showing you with their actions. They're serving you and you feel like you can trust them. Well, that's a big thing. Like how you know someone's meant to be in your life you can trust them. Okay, so how you know that someone is meant to be in your life, how do you know that they're meant for you, is that you can embody forgiveness. You're able to forgive them and smush the ego and return back to the heart. You recognize that your connection, your relationship is more important, more significant than any silly fight, any bickering, any drama. When you can return back to one another, then you know like it is someone that's meant to be in your life. Sometimes the universe has us fall apart just to come back together because we're learning in that process. We're healing, we're learning what compassion is, learning what forgiveness is because we can logically know like, oh yeah, it's right to forgive. We should forgive, but it's different to actually do it from the heart. It takes strength right like softness takes strength to sink into your heart move from your heart because that in all honesty is what we all want deep inside from one another and need from one another but sometimes there's just differences that really will pull you in different directions but someone that's meant to be in your life is like you end up coming back together every single time like your heart draws you there your soul is calling to you because you know like wow this person is meant to be in my life they're a gift to me they're a blessing i cherish them my loyalty is to them and it supersedes bickering problems like we can get over it we can get through it together together so it's about humility respect real love and so when you feel these things for someone these are deep things spiritual things it's a spiritual connection and they are meant to be in your life be in your life so signs that someone is meant for you and meant to be in your life love is in the air you guys <laughs> okay so this one can be controversial like drop me a comment let me know what you think but you know someone is meant to be in your life when your inner self is speaking to your intuition and you get those beautiful butterflies. Butterflies are rare. Like, do you just go walk around like you're at the park at the grocery store just getting butterflies and you're telling me like, oh, the cashier ring me out. Like, no, <laughs> no. Passion and that exciting feeling. It's very innocent. It's very true. So pay attention to how you feel those butterflies in your tummy are speaking to you and i've heard so many people say like oh that could be a sign of something bad and oh passion doesn't equate to love it doesn't matter if you feel passionate that fades away are you in the honeymoon stage and all of this but for me this is a sign that someone's meant to you because since we're all souls inhibiting bodies there's things we can't see but that we can feel like we can try our best to explain it, but it's really just a feeling. And so those butterflies is literally telling you in the most unique way possible that there is a deep attraction, pull, excitement towards this other being and our vibration, we're all energy. So energy never lies. And this is your, you telling you, making you aware of, wow, I'm attracted to this person. There's something special here. This is a rare feeling and it's making me happy. It's making me maybe nervous and just, it's a, it's a big sign like of that passion. And so this is how you know, okay, someone's meant to be in your life. When's the last time that you got butterflies in your tummy? Even if you've been with somebody for a long time, there should be a place deep within you that still gets excited to see them, to hear them, to be in their presence, to touch their skin, to look into their eyes, like that love, because love is eternal and it's gonna always be fueled. It's unconditional, it's abundant and so, those butterfly feelings this is a sign that someone is meant to be in your life 
when I see a person that I love and it's those romantic feelings. I know they're meant to be in my life because just looking at them makes me super excited. And <laughs> feeling that passion, gasping. Like, have you ever done that, ladies? Have you ever done That's how you know the love is real. Like, they're meant to be in your life. Like, this is not by accident. You're getting excited. You're like, <gasps> Like, oh my gosh, right? And so it's kind of like a little girl feeling like, <laughs> I wonder if fellas feel this too, but they just don't say it like because they're, they're masculine and they're macho. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, vibes. Good vibes, happy vibes, passionate vibes, sexual vibes, all the good vibes combined. Like, have you ever seen somebody like staring at somebody like, all of those things you guys feelings this is the feelings channel <laughs> okay so signs that somebody is meant to be in your life signs that they're meant for you you are on the same team okay you know that expression love is a battlefield i don't know about that you should be on the same team you shouldn't be warring against one another you should be on the same squad okay so they're a rider they're your bff they're your bestie. They got your back. They're there for you. They can count on them. Reliable, loyal, consistent. They're on your side because this is important. You don't wanna, like life can be hard enough <laughs> sometimes. You know someone's meant to be in your life when they got your back. They support you. They're supportive. They're understanding. They're patient. You guys are like best friends, right? So it's not just about butterflies and passions. Like someone's meant for meant to be in your life when like you can count on them. T intentions are huge. Like what are their intentions? Are they in competition with you? Plotting on your downfall? Are they trying to put doubts in your mind? Are they, you know, like hating on you in secret? No, like those are people you don't want around you because they're just gonna like bring you down. You want someone who behind closed doors is still speaking highly of you, who like you have a win, for them it's a win. They're cheering you on, they're genuine, right? And so that's how you know that someone's by your side. And you guys, it feels like all of these things combined could be very rare, right? And so even if it's one or two signs, these are signs that you do want someone in your life, but take a look in your, at your circle, look who you have around you, right? Because they're gonna influence you and also you deserve these things. Like you deserve to make space for this type of energy to enter your life and it's gonna make the biggest, most beautiful difference. And the very last sign, this is a bonus sign, is that they feel like home. Right, so somebody who's meant to be in your life, you feel safe in their presence. They feel like comfort. Think about that feeling when you get home. You're just like, finally, I can kick my feet up. I can relax, chill, right? Natural, be yourself, breathe, and just be free. So that's, this is the feeling that if somebody brings you this kind of feeling, then you know they're meant to be in your life. It's easy, it's relaxed, but at the same time, life is better with them. So it's that comfort feeling, but it's also like life feels more fun with them there. Like you could do something alone, but if they're there, it's better. Shout out to me, you guys, for, I'm getting so tongue twisted, but we're still in <laughs> Mercury retrograde. I kind of struggled getting the words out in this video. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm sending you so much love, power, and healing on your journey. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> These are my signs that someone is meant to be in your life. These are my signs that you are meant to see. <laughs>